Hi, my name is Popeye, making a video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics, and I am filming my Android phone, which is set on front of the screen of my laptop. I've got Impress going. LibreOffice is sweet. It is a PowerPoint-like program, and on it I have a long file. This one is about spreadsheet basics, and in fact, I've got this one on YouTube as a tutorial on the Pythagorean theorem. This particular program allows you to use your phone as a remote control for your computer and it works very very well. And I'll show you how it works and then I'll show you how to set it up. You've got to have an Android phone. You cannot have a uh, Windows phone or an Apple phone. And I am using Ubuntu and I am using an Android phone. And that's no surprise because Android uses the Linux kernel. Now this is kind of tricky juggling with my hands like this, but let me see if I can press this and get it going. And I'm trying to turn on the computer. Choose a computer. It's trying to sync. Start presentation. And there it is. Now you can see that the screen has changed and the screen matches what's on the phone. And I can use my thumb to go back and forth from screen to screen. And it's very smooth. And it's instantaneous. Beyond that, up in the corner there's an icon and when you press that icon, the screen turns to tile view and you can go to any screen you want to. And I can see how this would be useful for a guy in an auditorium, something like a teacher or a preacher or something like that. And you can do a free form presentation that's not linear. People will ask questions and you'll want to go back to this slide or that slide. And as soon as you touch it, it changes immediately. And it's very, very smooth and slick. It's hard to set up. Uh, I do not have Bluetooth. I am using Wi-Fi and you have to tell it to use Wi-Fi instead of Bluetooth and it might take you two three tries before you get the thing going. Now notice right here, I don't know if you can see it really good, there's a question mark. That is a video. The video does not show as a playing video on your phone. I'm going to press it with my thumb. But as soon as it gets on screen, you'll see that it is running. I'll go to the bigger one. I'll go to the next the next slide is bigger. It's full screen. And you can see that more easily. This, by the way, is DOSBox running Flight Simulator for DOS way back when. And I'm using that as a demo for a geometry lesson. Now, I am going to turn it off and then I will show you how to set it up a little bit. And I'll put the phone down. I'm done with the phone and I'm just going to hit escape and now I am back to the screen where it says that I'm going to turn on the remote but I'll turn that off and now I'll go to the top and let me just diminish it because I want to show you online uh, where you can get this. Well, before I do that, let me go over here and I'll show you in tools how to set it up. You go to options and in options at the top you got LibreOffice. Go down to advanced. Make sure this is checked. Enable experimental. And then down at the bottom here, go to impress. Open that up and go to general enable remote control you just have to keep those check marks in there all the time you don't have to mess with them anymore and then right before you turn it on you have to turn it on on your phone and then you just tap this here where it says impress remote and that'll get the whole thing running now you cannot uh, you cannot do something like watch 
the thing play and run on your phone. This is just a remote control. I went online and I looked up uh, LibreOffice new features and there are a whole bunch of them. This is just Impress that I'm talking about here. And so let me go down. I think it's 10 clicks. Writer. Calc. Formula Engine. Pivot Table. And here it is. There are there's now an Impress remote control for Linux on Android phones. And there is a very good how-to. And if you just click on the how-to, it goes over everything I just said, except in a little bit more detail. And they're very honest. They say, hey, it's got some bugs in it. And I think that they're going to improve it. Uh, the thing that is buggy is that you sometimes have to try it two, three times and then turn off the Bluetooth and uh, uh, I goofed with it for quite some time but now it works really well. I have a whole bunch of videos on YouTube. My name is Pop. Most of them are called Ubuntu Basics. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, I thank you very much. I would like to hear from people.